hello guys welcome back once again and in this video we will be seeing about how to retrieve the data from database and displaying it in uh, a table format in servlets ok let us start um, we have seen all the basics here before let me give a link to a servlet as view data Now let me create a new servlet as view data. Okay. Now what we do is um, we'll create a new function. Already I have explained about detail about this creating a database connection. If not, you have seen it now you can go and check it out in the playlist. Okay. Create a dry catch block. I have a table as customer, table customer. Now we I am going to retrieve all the data from the table customer. Let me email mobile. Let us go and check the data. Table structure. Open Oracle. Create a prepare statement Oracle prepare statement equal to convert prepare prepare statement. Thank you. That's it. Oracle prepare statement. Now let us execute it. Oracle results it. This Oracle results it will track all the data which is returned from the return by the prepare statement. Sorry. PST dot execute query. Why RS dot next? Okay. We have to cast this to Oracle prepare statement. Sorry, Oracle results it. So uh, as you see, we can set the response content type to text or HTML. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the response content as text or HTML. So response dot set content type text or HTML. Let us get the access. Let us do the writer. So the thing is, objective is we have to create a table. So we can use the HTML HTML tags right over here. Let me define it here. So HTML is equal to table. Table. So I'm defining the table header. These all are everything is uh, table tags, HTML tags. So, eh is a table letter name. Uh, email and mobile. So, 
we have opened the table tab we should have closed the table tab right over here because we need it I'll say um, table ok now let us move further so what we are going to do is we are just going to append the data right over with this str so what we can do is create a new row a new cell td so here column index here you can pass the column index or the column name so one represents the first column as name whatever you are driving ok now let us copy and paste for further things Now finally we have to close the table. Plus close the table. So how dot interline dot close. We have to close the connection and finally we have to close the print writer that's it uh, now let us test this and check how it's working ok unless run once over since I have checked the option save or so it will automatically save and run Now let us view the data. So as you see here, it displayed in the table form. So here the borders of the table are not visible, right? So we can give the properties of the HTML tags to. So let me give border is equal to one. So go deploy. Yeah. So it's just a that's what I've data. Just refresh it. So now you can see the table in servlet. That's it. Uh, with this, we can do if you have a CSS template, you can do the CSS template in servlet and you can populate dynamic data from the servlet. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, just like and subscribe. Thank you.